Hello and welcome everyone. So in today's video, I'll be talking about the scenario based question on record sharing and security and object level securities. And these all going to be the scenario based question. Most of the time we get the a question from this topic definitely in an interview, be it administrator interview or a developer or a consultant interview, because the scenario based question on record sharing and security will, you know, basically uh, tells you uh, how much a candidate knows about the core features of Salesforce in terms of sharing visibility. And it is extremely important, uh, you know, for a candidate to know these things in an interview. Most of the time scenario based questions on these topics are like there are two users, they are on a different roles and different profiles. Uh, one is able to do something, one is not able to do something, what could be the reason? So most of the time these question typically follows a pattern where you need to, you know, uh, think about different different solutions, different different ways and, you know, do a lot of thinking about what could happen, what are the possible ways to do that. So we will try to cover these scenarios which we normally ask in an interview and uh, you can take reference from these and uh, I hope that you will get more clarity about these questions whenever they come in your interview. So we'll begin it. Uh, so the first question is we have two users A and B and we need to make sure that A should not be able to see the user B's data and B should not be able to see user A's data. Uh, what will you do to implement something like this? Okay. So whenever something like this, uh, uh, you know, uh, is asked by the interviewer, you need to make sure that you tell uh, that there are multiple ways to do that thing whenever a user a and b uh, uh, you know we need to make sure that they should not be able to see each other's data we need to make sure that the owd is private so that the baseline level permission is uh, you know uh, the least restricted and then we can uh, make sure that they are not uh, they are in the same role hierarchy because if in case they are you know uh, user A is higher to user B or user B is higher to user A then one of them will be able to see the other's data. So they should be on a same level and they should not have any kind of uh, uh, you know sharing rule or something applied to so that they cannot see any of their data plus user A and user B both should not have you know modify all or view all permission available on their profile. So OWD should be private they should not be uh, higher on each other's role hierarchy and they should not have modify all or view all permission on their profile and we will also check all the sharing and other things if there is any uh, way we are sharing so that we can uh, remove all those things uh, basically to implement something like this. The second interview question is that we have two users, user A and user B. User A is able to see B's data but user B is not able to see A data. What could be the reason? So see whenever something like this comes in interview you will think about uh, you know let's say user a is able to see b's data so user a could be higher in the role hierarchy user a could have a permission set assigned user a and b can have a different profile so you need to ask a lot of follow-up questions from the interviewer whether they are same on the role hierarchy whether they have the same profile whether there is a permission set assigned to user a which is extending permissions User A can also be a part of a public group which we are using in the sharing rule to extend the permission of couple of records. We should also ask that which object or which records we are talking about so that we can further debug on specific to those object level permissions as well. So all these kind of questions require you to ask ask couple of follow up question because there can be n number of reasons and you have to list down all the possible reasons and then you need to suggest what could be the possible way to do that okay so in this situation user a is able to see b's data it could be because of the multiple reason it could be let's say they have same role and same profile okay so it, it could be possible that there are some sharing rules available which is extending the access it could be possible that uh, you know couple of records were shared with user a manually it is possible that couple of uh, uh, you know apex based sharings were enforced on user a's uh, uh, so that user A is able to see more data or it could also be possible that user A um, uh, is able to see normal data while user B have couple of restriction rules applied on, on him so that he is only able to see the limited data. So there are so many possibilities with the uh, questions like these and you have to list down all those things. Okay. Uh, then there is a question we have a record which have uh, which we have shared with uh, user A and we have only shared uh, with the read access okay so we have shared a record with user a of a custom object uh, and we have shared it with user a just with the view permission but user a has view and edit permission on that particular object through 
his profile now will he be able to edit because his profile already has edit permission so the answer is no he will not be able to edit uh, that particular record because that particular record was shared only with the view access what he can edit on that particular object he can only edit the records which he owns and all the records which were shared with uh, view and edit access but this particular record was shared with only view access so he'll not be able to edit it even though he has the edit permission on the object so similarly if we have shared a record with user a with view and edit permission but if object level permission only has view permission he only have you know uh, view permission on that then he will not be able to edit that record so you need to understand that whenever there is a uh, intersection between the record level security and the object level security salesforce always goes to the most restrictive one so in first case object was restricting uh, sorry in first case the record level security was restricting because we shared record only with the view access so he will he will only be able to view it in the second case uh, the create permission was restricted from the object level so it was more restrictive so salesforce will go through that way so he will not be able to edit the record even though we shared that record with create and edit permission but because he did not have the, the edit permission on the profile he will not be able to do that okay now there is a question user a has crud permission on object he can able to create uh, read update and delete and we have shared a record with that particular user with just a view permission okay yet he is able to edit the record what could be the reason so uh, he is able to edit the record even though we have shared the record with just view permission and he is not the owner of the record we have shared that record with him it's not like he is owner of that record yet he is able to edit that record what could be the possible reason so you need to you know explain the interview that uh, he can have uh, i mean he might have manage all uh, permission on that particular object or view all permission on that object uh, if he has manage all permission on that object he will be able to edit the record even though we have shared with just a view access manage all permissions will definitely allow him to edit that record so these are the possible questions i have um, uh, kind of uh, created for you guys and i have a couple of more questions as well feel free to ping me on linkedin if you need more information on any of this question and i'll be more than happy to help you thank you everyone yeah have a lovely day